Alright, so here is another video. Uh, I'm just kind of doing these rapid fire right now while I have time. Uh, this is going to be like actually super short. This one's just going to be talking about um, converting your Fiverr files to SMD and then uh, how to open them up in Blender because why not cover some more basic stuff, I suppose. Um, so the requisites for it will be obviously having like Yabber and things like that to be able to unpack your parts and DCX files to get to a Fiverr. Um, my basic introduction video should cover how to do that. Um, in the event you don't know, you just take your DCX file, drag and drop it on Yabber EXE. So depending on the game format, you might need to take your U2 or blah, blah, blah. It'll tell you um, in the debug if it doesn't work. So um, so here we are with our Bloodborne tools. Uh, you'll need those to do the conversion. Um, if you do not have that, uh, the easiest way to do it, honestly, at this point now, I would say just join our Discord and we can just send you the actual um, executable itself. Uh, otherwise, you have to join the like Zentech um, forum and make an account to be able to have access to it and then download it and all that. So it's really just easier to just join a Discord and just grab it from our community guides uh, and template spot, honestly. Um, so uh, with that, you'll also obviously need Blender and then the source uh, plugin for it. Um, I'll have all that stuff linked in the description, so don't worry too much about that. Um, so it's pretty, pretty easy. What you would do is you would take your fiber right here um, and we're just gonna drag and drop it on the V3 EXE. Uh, it's gonna spit out in ASCII for you. I don't use that, um, so I'm just going to delete it, and then I'm going to take the SMD that it made, and I'm just going to put it on my desktop for easy finding, um, and then I'm going to open up Blender. And we're just going to clear all this stuff out really quick. We're going to go File, um, and then we're going to go to Import, and then Source Engine. Um, if you have not installed your Source Engine, engine add-on uh, the easiest way to do that is just once you have it installed and you have the zip file go to edit preferences um, and then you're just going to go to your add-ons um, and then navigate to it and then click the little checkbox to enable it uh, it might require you to restart blender it doesn't really matter that much though um, so we're going to go file import source engine desktop SMD here. It's going to give you a nice little error like this. Uh, this is just a material thing. Um, it just basically means that your material path for the item itself might be busted. So uh, what we normally do is we just select the item and then we're going to go down here on the right to the little materials ball and we're just going to rename this really quick. So it's, we're just going to rename it broken sword um just to kind of like give it a new material path and name there um, that's all you really have to do for that though um so now this is source that's great uh, if you want to do anything with it in blender now this is the place that you would do that um if you are all done with it and it's all nice and pretty and it's the way you want to you know we'll for the sake of the video here we'll we'll go ahead and make it comedically large why not right um if you make any changes you're going to want to go to object apply all the transformations that you make otherwise the transformations and changes you make won't appear when you export it so uh we're going to go ahead and go up to file now export and then for importing anything into um fiverr you're going to want to just export it as fbx um and then you can name it whatever you want, put it wherever you want to. Uh, we're just gonna put it back on the desktop here. Um, actually, important note, click on it, uh, go to the normals here and turn off auto smooth. Auto smooth makes things look funky in game when you do stuff with it. So um, might as well just avoid that. Um, 
another really good thing i guess to mention while we're here and we're just kind of like showing stuff um some stuff doesn't show up very good in fiverr or in the game because the game engine doesn't render things um that have f more than four or three faces i think i don't remember what it was i'm just i'm not a, i'm not a blender guru so uh what we're gonna do is you just select the item go to edit and then select all and then if you do control t to triangulate the faces uh it'll it'll fill in with little uh it'll, it'll it'll triangulate it it'll make it nice and pretty for you i'm 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 sorry that i'm not like the most savvy when it comes to blender but we're just kind of explore and stuff so if you have a model pop up and it just literally has parts that are invisible or look like they're missing uh that's probably what it is so doesn't hurt to try that um we can go ahead and go back here now and we'll do the export as fbx um broken sword bs uh desktop export it like that great um and then we'll just use this template um fiber right here for um elden ring stuff and then you would just go import model um and then go navigate to desktop and then we're looking for bs uh, right here it's going to tell you material and count uh, important thing to note here, you typically want your mesh count to match your material count. Um, there are some cases where you don't need it to, but it's generally you you want that. Otherwise, you won't be able to assign textures to parts of stuff. So um, you would just click um, no on pretty much everything for LOD level. Um, that literally is if something is being viewed from really far away in game this makes it so it's rendered far away if it's a, something like a weapon or armor you don't need to do that because it's always close to the camera so um yeah so we're gonna click no so now we've got our big sword in here it's not textured you'd go ahead and apply textures do all that kind of stuff next um fix any sort of issues with hit boxes and things like that but um Yep, so that's that's how you convert a Fiverr to SMD, slap it in Blender, um, some troubleshooting stuff for it, that kind of thing. Um, so, hope that's helpful. Take it easy.